Our sightseeing tour of Ulanude is going to have to be postponed for a little bit because this morning we have just noticed that we have some oil coming out from our fork here, the right fork. And you can see that it's a little bit sticky all along here and also that you've got a dark patch here. Clearly a little bit of oil has been dripping out. We only just noticed this this morning. I don't know if it's been happening for a long time, but we looked it up online and apparently this might just be that there is dirt and dust inside the seal, inside the fork seal here, which is actually really likely because of course, look at the thing. It's like totally covered in dirt. So it's really likely that dirt has gotten up inside the seal here, which is apparently, according to YouTube, possible to clean yourself. Now this is not something we've done before, but we're going to give it a go. Apparently you can separate here the dust cap from the fork with a screwdriver and that gets slid down and then apparently we can use like a card or a little thin thing and we have actually cut this thing out from our garlic and herb pot. This kind of is a circular thing. So basically we just like this, stick that up inside the fork seal, spin it round and try to kind of get all the dirt and dust as much as we can out and try and clean up this fork seal and then see if oil continues to drip. Let's do it, hey? Okay, so apparently we can't remove the fender. We thought we would be able to get it off quite easily, but it's attached here with the brake lines and here as well and this is riveted on and uh, this one which I think is the traction control or is it ABS? I don't know. So anyway we'll have to just pull the fender as far as we can out the way. Basically that is as best we can do. Yeah. We need to just get the whole area around clean. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, there we go. Good, really good. If you do a close up inside there, you can see how much dirt is in there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So basically, we just got to clean out this whole area with our little plastic thing and uh, we'll see how well we can do. Wow, look. Yeah, definitely got some dirt on the end of there. Oh yeah, okay. My big pieces. All right, so that dirt is basically inside the fork seal and that's most likely what's causing the leak. Yeah, look at that. Definitely got some dirt up in there. You're my mechanic, eh? Hey? Learning new things every day. I don't think anybody ever mentioned to us one time about the possibility of dust and dirt getting in the fork seals. But maybe they did and we just didn't pay attention. No, actually, if I remember, Ian from Royal Lanfield in England, he actually mentioned, make sure that your forks are clean. <laughs> Sorry, Ian. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how it goes, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's looking good now. It's looking mm. good. Show me the dirt. Oh yeah, there you go. Whoopsies. Okay. All right. Yeah. It always feels so naked without the <laughs> panniers on the side. It's lightweight now. Mm -hmm, it's fine. Looks good. Time to rock and roll then. Yep. Good afternoon world. Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the city of Ulan-Ude in Siberian Russia. And today we're doing a little bit of sightseeing. It's already the afternoon because, well, for two reasons really. The first is that we're a little bit sick and uh, we just laid in bed for ages trying to kind of heal and recover. And the second reason is that we had to deal with that fork issue this morning. Yeah, fingers crossed. Our little cleaning up is helping a lot. 
<laughs> Look where we are! The idea for today is we're just doing a little bit of sightseeing around the city of Ulan Ode. We'll be visiting a couple of spots. The first place we'll be visiting is this cathedral right in front of us. I didn't realize it was so close, by the way. We sort of started our drive and then it's like we're already here. St. Odigitrievsky's Cathedral. And I'll tell you guys more about that in a minute. But the second place we'll be visiting is a Buddhist Datsan, which is like a monastery. And then the third place we'll be visiting is Lake Baikal, the largest freshwater lake in the world. So it's going to be a really cool day. We're going to start by visiting this beautiful Orthodox Cathedral. All right, so we're just going to go in into the cathedral separately because it's literally just here and that way we can just sort of leave Bumblebee all set up with the cameras and everything and not worry about losing anything. I'm going to go have a look and tell these guys a little bit about this cathedral. Awesome. Okay, so this cathedral, St. Odigitrievsky Cathedral, was built between 1741 and 1785 and it's built in the Russian Baroque style and it's a Russian Orthodox Church. They've got these super cool golden towers on the top. It just looks amazing. And actually this building was the first stone building built in the city. How cool is that? And it was built right next to the River Ude on its confluence with the Selenga River. The River Ude is what gives uh, Ulan Ude its name, or half of its name. Anyway, I don't know if I can talk very much inside, but let's go have a look. Wow, cool. Look at this. I have the camera. Okay, thank you. I'm just coming around the front actually, just to see if maybe there's a bigger room with an entrance on this side, which there might be, I don't know. But wow, it's a pretty impressive structure though, hey. Beautiful white with this blue all along it. Oh wow, it actually looks like the main room is under construction at the moment. Just take a quick peek. So at the moment it looks like actually this main room on the inside is under construction and the only part that you can really enter is the part we went in before. Beautiful, but um, I got told off for filming. But anyway, it's really, really nice inside. Really beautiful. A lot of gold. A lot of gold, yeah. Yeah, go take a look, yeah. There we go, first sightseeing in Ulan Ude, the cathedral of St. Odigitrevsky. So we're actually in the center of the old town right now. The city was actually founded in 1666 by the Cossacks and the first name of the city was called Udinsky because of its location on the Ude River and it's actually located uh, on the confluence of the Uda and Selenga rivers. But it became a really popular trading zone because of its really good location between Mongolia, China and Russia. But it wasn't until the arrival of the Trans-Siberian Railway here in 1900 that the population like really really exploded. The population was only three and a half thousand people in 1880 and by 1939 the population had exploded to 126,000. But of course the Cossacks weren't the first people to come to this region. The first people were called the Evrek, later followed by the Buryat Mongols, which actually still make up a large ethnic group in this state which is called the Buryat Republic. So the name was actually changed quite a few times but the modern name Ulan Ude means Red Ude and that red is because of the Soviet Union, they named it in honor of that. And actually here in the city they have a massive statue of a bust of Lenin as well, the largest bust of Lenin in the world. So the current population of the city is around 437,000 people, making it the third largest city in the far east of Russia, behind Khabarovsk and Vladivostok, which we visited earlier on this trip. Oh look, here's another one of those beautiful trucks. Look at that. 
Yeah, really cool. So yeah, pretty cool historical place to visit here in the far east of Russia. Oh cool, look at this. That's grand, hey? Yeah. Oh, I think this might be where the bust of Lenin is actually. Somewhere around here anyway. Ah, there it is. I can see it over there. Just about. Look, look, look. There. Ah, oh, yep. Whoa, that's a <laughs> massive head. Massive head, yeah. <laughs> nice. So now we're going to head to our second tourist destination in the city, which is the Datsan Rinposh Bagsha, the Buddhist monastery on a hill where we should get a pretty good view of the city. Day, eh? That's it, that's the city. Cool. Hey, you do get a really good view from up here. You can see down there the Uda and the confluence just over there and the other river, Selenga, is going off this way and so the heart of the city was basically founded on the confluence of those two rivers. Here we go, through the flags, wow. the Datsan Rinposh Bagsha. Datsan is just the Buryat term for a monastery. So this place is effectively a Buddhist monastery. And interestingly, this whole state, Buryatia, is actually a Buddhist republic. So Buddhism is the primary religion of this entire state of Russia. So the name Rinposh Bagsha, well, Rinposh means the precious one, and Bagsha means teacher in the Buryat language. This place is a teaching of the precious lessons of Tibetan Buddhism. So this Datsan was established in 2000 with the blessing of the Dalai Lama. So it's really cool because in just one afternoon we can see two important religions in this area, the Russian Orthodox Church and the Tibetan Buddhism. Pretty awesome place. Look at us going to a restaurant and not eating on the side of the road. <laughs> Vegetables are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Got a really, really nice sweet soy sauce on it. <sighs> That's great. Beautiful, what a nice simple lunch of vegetables with some chiabatta buns and I felt very zen eating lunch next to the Buddhist monastery. <laughs> <laughs>
No, that was a really nice place to visit actually. Nice to see an aspect of Buryat culture here. Yeah, I mean, we had so much fun. We actually spent a little bit too much time here. We are a little bit in the rush to reach Lake Baikal because it's 83 miles and it will take us about two hours and it's already 5.30. So better hit the road, let's go. At least here in Russia is really cool because you know always when it turns green. Yeah, they have a countdown. Yes. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, go! go! <laughs> State Buryatia is a beautiful state. It's got so many mountains and lakes and rivers. Pretty bad road to be honest, it's pretty bumpy. I think this will be a pretty good test to see if our front fork is still leaking oil. Because if that seal is not back to normal, then we're gonna know about it by the time we get to the lake. Wow, it's such a bumpy road. But really charming villages along this road though. Again, like with the little fields that they've all got in front of their houses. Yeah, very traditional. Oh yes, we're getting our first views of Lake Baikal. Wow. It is just on the other side of this field. I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro just yet, but in about half a mile, we're about to park up in front and then we should get a really good view of this crazy, crazy massive lake. Okay, so apparently there should be a road here. Okay. That leads to a pier. We can check that out. Yep. Uh, according to the map, the pier should be just in here. Uh, okay, wait a second. It's okay? No? Close? Maybe let's we can see. ask him yeah. in Russian where the pier is. Yeah, okay, let's ask. Привет! Привет! Как дела? <laughs> we saw on the map that there was a pier here. Is it possible to see one here? <laughs> Uh, right. uh, here. Okay, here, here. Yeah. The, okay, 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 okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Спасибо. Спасибо. Okay. That seemed to work. I think, uh, yeah, we were apparently just a little bit wrong. We were about to go into a private property. Yeah. When actually the pier should be around here. Okay. I'm just going to keep an eye on the road, but yeah. can you see up here? No, but just go straight here because they said like go like this, you know, around. Uh, okay, okay. I think he said like sort of around. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Ooh. That goes to the cows or is it or is it actually in front? I... Oh, ah, yes, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> can I, can I ride there? I don't know. Okay, let me go back in a circle. Does that look all right? Does look at look... this. Oh, it's massive. Look at that. No problem. Oh. No problem. <laughs> Okay. Okay, nice and easy. Oh well, yeah, there's loads of cows here. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so the pier is actually behind their property. Yeah, it's interesting. How cool is that, hey? Oh, nice. Wow. Whoa, there's a load of flies. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Be careful. Concentrate on the, on the road. <laughs> Wait, I've got to close my visor. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's something in my helmet. Oh. Wait a minute. 
Wow, there's a lot of flies here. <laughs> so many flies. Uh, They're coming. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, no, we're keeping our visors on and down. Anyway, more importantly, this Lake Baikal. Woo! Wow, that is hardly a lake, is it? I mean, wow. that just looks like the ocean. I mean, it's just, it, you can't see anything. It just goes off, oh. off into the distance. Wow. That's really crazy, no? Yeah, that's absolutely huge. Lake Baikal, hey? Incredible. We finally made it. That's wow. crazy. <laughs> I'm so happy. So Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake in the world and the deepest lake in the world. It yeah. really is an ocean. Yeah. An inland ocean. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is pretty dodgy, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's, bro it's broken over there. Okay, well, we'll go a little bit. Let's walk on this bit. <laughs> I think for people, uh -huh. this is okay. I think for vehicles, maybe not. Wow, it looks beautiful though. Very beautiful. Yeah, and another reason why it's even more like an ocean is because actually seals live here. The Baikal seal. Wow. Yeah, can you believe it? Let's jump over this to this one and let's ha have a look down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah? Well, you can't really see any seals from here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't see anything. No, this is a really the, dark, murky brown. The, wow, the water is so this, dark. Also, this log is like yeah. not very stable. <laughs> not the best log. No, no, okay. Okay, let's just walk until the end of this bit at least. Okay. It's such a dark colour, isn't it? Yeah, wow. It's like a really ominous lake, actually, to be honest. I was like, when we came... Oops. What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. When we came here, I was like, oh, maybe we'll go for a swim. There is absolutely no way that we're going to go for a swim. <laughs> we would definitely freeze. Yeah. Freeze to death. Yeah, apparently the lake is really, really cold. Yeah. I don't know if we should go much further. Do you want to go a little bit more? Could do. <laughs> okay, I know it goes a little bit further, but I think that's as far as we should go. Because <laughs> that bit looks super dodgy. That looks so dodgy. And like oh. the pier next to us is totally destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I definitely don't trust this too much. So I think we're okay here. This is about as far as we should go. <laughs> This is just absolutely amazing. Look at this lake. It really feels like we're on the coast. I'm just so, so, so happy to be here to see this beautiful lake with my own eyes. It just doesn't look like a lake. Wow. Good job. Made it. Lake Baikal, baby. Yes. So I just looked up some info about this lake and it's absolutely crazy because there is 5,670 cubic miles of water here. That's a ridiculous amount of water here. It is 22 to 23 percent of the world's fresh water. And it's more water here than all of the North American Great Lakes combined. I mean, I can't even fathom how much fresh water that is. It makes me thirsty. <laughs> But of course, it's also the world's deepest lake, and that's why it's got so much water. It's 1,642 meters deep. That's 5,387 feet. It's also the world's oldest lake, because it's 25 to 30 million years old. And it's actually slightly larger by surface area than Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Belgium. So all in all, this is a pretty crazy lake and it's pretty crazy to be here. Yes. But it is going to get dark in less than two hours and we've got more than two hours to ride back to Ulan all day. So yeah. I think it's time we head back to Bumblebee and hit the road. Yeah. Goodbye Lake Baikal.
Goodbye. <laughs> wow, what a place. Mm, what, what a place. Amazing. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with your friends and family. Comment below. And if you really, 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 really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. And we will see you next time. Look at this fork. Look at that. That is completely clear after two hours and an incredibly bumpy road that is looking amazing now i don't want to say it too prematurely but i think we may have fixed it fingers crossed but it looks good it looks really good, it looks good. yes love you only mechanics <laughs> ready Beautiful, look how many horses they are. Amazing. Hey guys. We fixed it. We fixed it. We fixed it. We absolutely fixed it. Wow.